Today's video title is actually not clickbait. I managed to scrape the bottom of the cesspool barrel that is Amazon's dodgier product selection to find this graphics card. And I am convinced it's the worst graphics card you can buy on Amazon. So today, we're gonna talk about the GT710. <laughs> I'm joking. It's not the GT710. You can put your pitchforks down. It's not even a GT210. This video card, as they call it, is to a GT210 what a GT210 is to an RTX 2060. This thing is real bad. So with that, let's have a look at what we got. The video card that we're looking at today was actually shipped in letter pack. <laughs> now, I've never seen that before. Uh, even Wish's fake graphics cards are shipped in a box. The box does look like it had all of its graphics designed in paint on like a Windows 98 machine, but it's a box nonetheless. When you open up the letter pack, Amazon Prime is really putting in work here. You can see that it's been wrapped in an anti-static bag, which makes me feel like the seller really cares that it comes to me in one piece. Yeah, it's a real beauty, and you know it's a fire-breathing dragon of a GPU if it doesn't even need a heatsink. Your eyes don't deceive you, it actually is a PCI expansion card. It doesn't have PCI Express, not even AGP, it's PCI. The actual GPU is an ATI Rage XL, which was initially launched in 1998, which is very old. This GPU is almost as old as I am, and it comes with a whopping 8 megabytes of video memory. This card was mainly designed for 2D acceleration, so it's gonna really struggle with even very basic 3D acceleration. We're gonna try and play games like the original Unreal Tournament and Half-Life on it, but I ran into a bunch of problems, which we'll get into later in the video. The GPU was actually manufactured using the 350 nanometer process, and this was a low-end card when it was launched back in 1998. We're gonna have a bit of a tough time to get anything to work with this video card. When it comes to the video outputs, this card is decked to the nines with a single VGA output. <laughs> it's a bit of an issue for me, and it makes compatibility with monitors a bit of a pain in the butt, but we'll get into that a bit later as well. Now, to get an actual video signal out of this card, you need a couple of things. The first thing is a motherboard that actually has a PCI slot. That's quite difficult to find these days, and I only have one motherboard, which is from like an old Core 2 Duo era motherboard that I did a Windows Vista mid-range system build with. The second thing that you're going to need if you don't have an old monitor with VGA or you're going to use a projector or something like that is a VGA to HDMI converter, which is a little box that looks like this. I'm pretty sure this little box has more video processing power than the actual Rage XL, but that's besides the point. So that actually turns the analog signal of the VGA out on the graphics card to a digital signal that a modern monitor can read. I actually got it outputting a signal in Windows 10. Uh, you can see here I'm working around on the desktop and it actually works, right? Because it's got VGA, its max resolution is actually limited to 1600 by 1200. But there's a caveat to that max resolution. That max resolution can only be achieved with 16-bit color, which, yeah, Windows 10 doesn't support. So in Windows 10, your max resolution is limited. Now with that, let's play some games on it. The first game I fired up quite ambitiously was the first Half-Life. Now as you can see here, it's kind of running. Um, it's running at a resolution of 640 by 320 and it's it's so slow we're not not even getting a frame rate counter at this point but it's it's not more than a couple frames a second if you switch over to software rendering it runs a lot better but then the cpu is doing all of the rendering and the core 2 duo e6300 does a much better job than the rage xl now i decided to try an even older game the original unreal tournament with amazing graphics Unreal Tournament runs a bit better, but it's not playable by any measure, even at a resolution like 1640 by 320. Now again, we don't have video drivers here, so we need to install an older Windows operating system so that we can find compatible drivers. Because at the time of making this video, this video card is 22 years old, so obviously the latest AMD drivers aren't going to support it. 
A game that I could actually get running properly on the Rage XL in Windows 10 is Papers, Please, which is this awesome, very basic 2D game that's it's just so depressing, yet fascinating at the same time. Now, I have a bit of a suspicion that this game uses uh, software rendering, although even if it doesn't, it should work very well on the Rage XL because that's just its wheelhouse, right? That's what the Rage XL was designed to do back in 1998 was 2D acceleration. This has been the most exacerbated I've been in a while <laughs> trying to get a product working for, for a video. It's been a real pain in the butt to get this guy running. But weirdly enough, the graphics card wasn't the, or video card, sorry, wasn't the main problem. So as we've established, we need an older operating system so that we can find graphics card drivers that would actually recognize this little video card and then drive it <laughs> or whatever it is the drivers do. Um, the problem is, I had a real tough time installing Windows XP on here, which is a very good place to start when looking for drivers for a graphics card that's older than this millennium. I don't understand it. I've installed Windows XP on this system before, but it, it kind of turned into a stubborn child and it's just been refusing to let me install Windows XP on it. I, I spent pretty much a day trying to get XP installed on it. I tried various ISO images and stuff like that. None of it worked. Then I tried Windows 7. Now Windows 7 installed easily, there was no problem, but Windows 7 also doesn't have any drivers available for it. There are apparently ATI Catalyst drivers for Windows 7 that still support it, but they don't, that's a blatant lie. I tried it, it didn't work. And then I decided just, I'm gonna try one more ISO, I'm gonna try one more BIOS setting configuration, and we, it, it, Windows XP started installing. The first time it crashed halfway through the install, which was not a great sign. And then the second time it finished installing XP. And then I got to the point where I needed to log into my account and it gave me this warning. Now, according to a couple of people on the internet, this warning means that the hard drive is faulty. And at this point, I put my foot down and I said, no, enough is enough. I've spent two damn days just trying to get Windows XP installed on the system, which is weird because I've had Windows XP installed on it before, but it's just refusing to let it happen. So I just said, do you know what? F it. I don't care anymore. <laughs> like at this point, we, we don't need the proof of concept, right? Theoretically, you can play games from pre-2000s on this video card. So basically the conclusion that I'm gonna get to, pretending like this is consumer advice on any level, which it really isn't, um, but yes, you could play games on this. If you have a Windows 98 machine or Windows XP running on a system, you're not gonna be able to play any demanding 3D game like, I don't know, graphics up the butt nine or whatever, but you would be able to play a game like Half-Life or Unreal Tournament on this little video card. You'd probably have to play it in 640 by 320 and it would be very authentic. It's, it's pretty crazy. Like the video image that this GPU outputs makes a modern PC monitor kind of look like an old projector. So it's, it's very authentic. And if that's something that you're into, today's your lucky day. Buy 10 of them, throw them in a paddling pool and just go nuts. But for anybody that wants to do anything in a modern work use case, you're just gonna be very disappointed by this thing. I, I don't know why you would see a listing for this on Amazon and think that this is a viable option for your Windows 10 PC. It looks like a graphics card that you would get as a prize in like a box of cereal, <laughs> but, but there are a bunch of forum posts where people bought like three of them all excitedly and then couldn't get them running and are now all disappointed. I don't know why you'd have to buy three of them straight off the bat, but you know, someone did that somewhere for some reason. So at the end of the day, this is definitely the worst graphics card on Amazon. Um, I, I, I challenge you to find a worse one. And with that, it brings me to the end of yet again, a very pointless video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, like and subscribe to the channel for more pointless videos like this one. I'm churning them out by the bucket load at the moment. And um, yeah, share it with your friends and watch my stream later today where I destroy the new Tarkov wipe event. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited. Anyway, until the next video, bye-bye.